The twist with this reboot is, the mummy is a girl this time. The Mummy, the 2017 reboot of the 1999 Brendan Fraser Mummy, directed by Alex Kurtzman, and tells the story of uh, Nick, a uh, soldier, and uh, his uh, partner Jenny. They uncover some uh, Egyptian remains, and uh, in that uh, they bring uh, back the uh, tomb of a uh, ancient Egyptian queen, uh, who, uh, after uh, Nick crashes a plane, and uh, miraculously survives according to uh, Dr. Jekyll, uh, the uh, mummy uh, uh, queen awakens and uh, she uh, basically uh, tears up shit in London so uh, it's up to uh, Nick to of course save the day and it's the start of Universal's uh, big uh, new uh, dark universe uh, which is trying to be just like the MCU and DCU as uh, all uh, movie franchises are tr trying to be today. It's as if they can't just be good standalone movies anymore. I was not particularly bothered about this movie uh, first, to be honest. Uh, I mean, uh, just uh, looking at uh, the uh, awful reviews alone, the critics are uh, ripping this movie to shreds, and uh, I am uh, personally uh, not a uh, die-hard uh, mummy fan. Please don't judge me, I have still yet to uh, watch uh, the uh, 1930s mummy movies, but... Uh, as for my thoughts on the Brendan Fraser Mummy trilogy from the 1990s to the 2000s, I uh, actually uh, enjoyed uh, the uh, 1999 Mummy quite a lot. It has a uh, exceptionally great cast, a uh, awesome, uh, legit villain, a uh, uh, creepy and uh, creative visuals, and it was just a thoroughly entertaining, good horror movie and easily the best Mummy movie I have seen. And while uh, most hate The Mummy Returns, I don't think that it's nearly as bad as people make it out to be. Sure, it's not as good as the first one, but it's a decent enough sequel with one hell of a climax. Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, however, I pretty much agree is the worst uh, of that trilogy. Aside from the uh, nice change in setting, the Chinese uh, setting, everything else about it was so meh. So taking into account my low expectations, how does this uh, reboot fare compared to the Brendan Fraser trilogy, and how uh, good does it start off the uh, darker universe? Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's not good. Uh, I agree with the critics on this one. Uh, it uh, just comes off as a uh, messy train wreck uh, of a reboot. Uh, that's... Uh, only exists to uh, set up uh, future movies rather than trying to be its own thing. But uh, that's not to say that I hate this movie because uh, it there, it still has some merit, believe it or not. Firstly, Tom Cruise is uh, always a charismatic, uh, awesome action star, no matter what he's in. Uh, he uh, at least uh, tries uh, to make the movie watchable in every scene, yeah. I uh, did enjoy uh, the character of Nick, and uh, Sophia Blatella, she is uh, surprisingly uh, so great as the mummy. She is a uh, fucking scary, suitably over the top and uh, sexy too, as uh, well as uh, Russell Crowe uh, being uh, a, a good choice for uh, Dr. Jekyll. Uh, even though uh, he did uh, give uh, a lot of exposition, which I will get to the exposition in a minute. And uh, Annabelle Wallace, uh, despite her uh, being uh, criticised by uh, many critics as being a weak female character, I thought uh, she, uh, bless her heart, uh, did give a good performance, and uh, she did uh, work nicely uh, with uh, with Nick. Uh, yeah, Nick and Jenny uh, were, uh, they, they felt like a good team, but uh, that leads into... Uh, where this movie went wrong and and uh, why it uh, just uh, fails as a starter to a uh, what could be a potentially great uh, new cinematic universe. Alex Kerman was uh, clearly not the best director for this project. Uh, he uh, just uh, does not uh, know how to direct this movie at all. He just really tells everybody to act and uh, and uh, shoes action. Uh, they really could have picked a better filmmaker. 
and uh, the uh, story and the script is uh, the worst part. It's uh, just a jumbled, uh, complete mess. It doesn't help that this movie has like five freaking writers are uh, all uh, trying to tell their own uh, stories and inject their own things into the scripts. So, uh, I'm like, just have one or two screenwriters at the most. Uh, uh, that many screenwriters, it's uh, it's just uh, overdoing it. And the uh, movie has, uh, has uh, such a poor structure. It basically uh, goes like this. Action scene. Exposition. Oh boy, talk about exposition. There's, there's shit loads of exposition to sit through. Uh, where they just keep explaining, explaining, explaining to the point where you can't take it anymore. Writers, show us, don't tell us what's happening, we're not stupid. Because of the amount of uh, talking and talking and talking, we're being told what's happening rather than shown, uh, makes uh, for such a lack of action and excitement in the movie. Even when there is action, it's just completely sloppily and uh, badly filmed and uh, terribly edited. It, it's complete slock. Uh, I... This is some of the most boring action I have seen all year. And uh, Jenny, uh, uh, well, uh, is uh, still uh, a, a good character, but uh, the way they writ her was uh, so disappointing. They uh, made her one of those uh, female characters that has to be uh, constantly saved uh, by uh, her male counterparts. Ah. Uh, oh. This is embarrassing to see this little girl power in a blockbuster, uh, well, uh, when this came out the same month as Wonder Woman, which had the best girl power and best feminism I had ever seen uh, on film. Uh, writers, you can do better. And uh, the uh, motivation of uh, the uh, uh, mummy uh, queen uh, is uh, so unclear. You don't know what she wants. She's just uh, she's just power hungry. She just wants to destroy the world uh, for no reason apparently. Uh, so they really could have uh, delved into her uh, her reasons way more. Even though her backstory is decent, it's not enough. And uh, the movie's so obsessed with setting up the cinematic dark universe bullshit so to set up uh, all of the future movies uh, yet to come that uh, it's uh, really a uh, uh, does not have much focus and uh, d doesn't have much of its own story and is uh, relying on future movies to save it, so, which is not what a uh, opening movie to a cinematic universe should do. Uh, so uh, guys, uh, all of those things make uh, the uh, Mummy reboots uh, such a uh, boring, uh, dull and a forgettable experience. Uh, you probably won't remember this movie after you've uh, uh, seen it. I mean, uh, I guess it's uh, marginally better than Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, but uh, that's not saying much. I would watch uh, the 1999 uh, Brendan Fraser mummy over this. At least that was fun. Uh, this uh, uh, does not have nearly as much fun as that did. Apart from a couple of... Uh, Apart from uh, some merits, uh, that's not enough to save this movie. I can totally see why it's getting negative reviews and is uh, bombing at the box office. Uh, just watch Wonder Woman again. Wonder Woman's the only masterpiece we've had this June. I give The Mummy 2017 two stars out of five. But hey, on the bright side, the uh, rest of the Dark Universe has potential to be good. Uh, Universal, please don't let us down. Well, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And what did you think of the money? Please comment, let me know. Please like this video and subscribe. And please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And please follow me on Twitter and on Google+. Plus, and I'll see you next time when I uh, do my third Q&A, which will hopefully come tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye, guys.